got a puncture or need to remove the rear wheel to gain access to the rear of the bike. Here's everything you need to know to remove and refit the Brompton rear wheel. Undo the rear frame clip and fold the rear of the bike under itself. Slacken off the knurled lock nut and unscrew the barrel adjuster if you have a three speed or six speed bike. The gear indicator chain will be left hanging loose from the end of the axle and should be unscrewed from the hub and removed. Move the sprung arm anti-clockwise and lift the chain off. Next, remove the chain tensioner. To do this, undo the securing nut with a 15mm spanner on a 3 or 6 speed. This is a special nut and on a 1 and 2 speed, it is a standard wheel nut. Deflate the tyre so the wheel can pass the brake calipers on removal. Do so by removing the dust cap and depressing on the valve. Use a 15mm spanner to remove the axle nut, enough to allow any tab washers to disengage from the axle plate. Remove it together with its washers. If the axle or tab washer sticks in the slot, shake it gently to loosen. Lift the chain off the sprocket and remove the wheel. You can now change your tyre, fix a puncture, swap rear wheels or attend to any tough to reach components in the rear frame. Refitting the rear wheel. Make sure your tyre is deflated before fitting the rear wheel. Lower the axle into the dropout. Being careful the flat side of the axle aligns with the axle plate and then pass the chain over the rear sprocket. Place the tab washers and the nut ensuring top is facing upwards. Tighten the wheel nuts firmly. The chain tensioner assembly is fitted by pushing it sideways onto the end of the axle. Fit the chain tensioner by aligning the fixed idler with the chain. If you have a two or six speed bike, the idler should sit between the actuator. Fit the washers and tighten the bolt. This bolt should be tightened firmly by hand. Once tight, no excess force should be applied. Refit the indicator chain. Pull the chain tensioner under to catch the chain as shown. Connect the barrel adjuster with the indicator chain. Your gears may need to be reset after this procedure. Please refer to this video to do this. Then, inflate your tyre to the recommended PSI on the tyre sidewall.